Hello and, hello and welcome to Topic Box. My name is David and today we're going to talk about my father. My father would have had his 65th birthday on April 8th. Anyways, I hope that you enjoy this tribute to him. My father, Harold Ernest Wilson, was born on April 8th, 1948. He was born and raised in Newcastle, England, and within later years would finish school and move to South Africa where he met my mother. His love for scouts and the British football when he was younger would roll into his adulthood, where my father would be the coach on my brother's team and our scout leader. Those two things he held very dear to himself. My father, after he married my mother, had two sons, Craig and Adam, and then in later years would foster care with my mother, both my, my twin sister and myself, and then later would adopt us. We all came to Canada from South Africa to a small island called PEI, where I spent my childhood. I would later leave my brother and my father in PEI and move to Calgary, Alberta, where I moved with my mother and my twin sister. My father had an illness called lupus. It is an autoimmune deficiency virus and would later take his life as it attacked his kidneys for many years. On September 2nd, 2007, my father would pass away from the illness. One thing it was while well, he was fighting the battle every day from his illness, he wouldn't let it get him down. I would often ask my father on the phone, how are you doing? He would tell me, I'm still alive, that's all that matters. He was a very great soul with a wonderful man as a father. This year, on April 8th, would have been his 65th birthday. He passed away at a very young age of only 59. My father was a man that I miss every day, but it brings me comfort to know that he no longer has to suffer from his illness that he had to battle with for many years, but always f found comfort within the Lord's name. Happy birthday, Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespassers, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.